What is an independent living facility? Uh, in this industry, we don't like to use the F word, so we're not going to call it a facility. Uh, we often call it independent senior living, uh, independent living, uh, or just an independent living community, property, apartment, unit. And I'm standing outside in Teaneck, New Jersey, and behind me is a very large and very nice uh, independent living community. Uh, this whole building is full of uh, very nice high-end apartment units that are all independent living units. I'm standing outside in Creskill, New Jersey, and behind me is a large property which is all independent living units or apartments, and connected to it is another large building, but this building is all um, assisted living units or apartments, and they also have a section for memory care. And they're connected by a hallway in between. The hallway doesn't look that long from here, but trust me, when you actually walk it, it's a very long hallway connecting the two, and my friends who work here uh, tell me that they call this hallway Switzerland, or no man's land, and I'll explain uh, what that means. Uh, but in today's video, I'm going to answer the question, what is an independent living facility? Some people ask, why would we need to call it independent living if it was truly independent living? Uh, the phrase really makes more sense within the larger discussion of assisted living. Uh, there are two ways to define independent living. One definition is within an assisted living community, you can rent one apartment and not pay for different levels of care and not receive care, and we can call that an independent living unit or apartment. That is a fair definition. But now I'm going to explain the more commonly understood definition. It's going to take a little more time with a little more detail. Unlike assisted living, uh, independent living is not licensed to provide care. In theory, the residents do not need help with their ADLs, activities of daily living. Uh, unlike an assisted living, independent living usually has a full kitchen with an electric burner, not a gas burner, but an electric burner. Uh, assisted living will have no burner at all. Uh, independent living apartments are usually much bigger than assisted living apartments. Uh, the nicer ones have a deck and a patio that you can walk around outside. Uh, independent living is usually significantly less expensive than assisted living because it's not licensed to provide care. Assisted living usually provides three meals per day. I've seen independent living communities that provide one meal a day, two meals a day, three meals or the option of either one that you choose. Those are the differences. Now I want to share the sim similarities between assisted living and independent living. Uh, similar to assisted living, independent living provides housekeeping, weekly laundry, activities, games, lectures, bingo, group trips, complimentary shuttle bus service. Many provide the happy hour with unlimited beer and wine. And uh, similar to assisted living, all your bills and utilities are included and paid for, except for your phone and sometimes your uh, cable TV in your room. Independent living is called carefree living and maintenance-free living. In a CCRC, community, uh, Continuing Care Retirement Community, the IL, Independent Living Unit, can be a freestanding house or cottage or townhome. But more commonly, uh, within an assisted living facility, the independent living unit is an apartment. That's more common. And it's usually very nice and high-end. Uh, I showed you the video footage of a community outside in Creskill, New Jersey. And there's a reason why the long hallway separating the independent building and the uh, assisted living building is called Switzerland. The licensing, the rules, the laws are completely different, and the staff needs to be very much aware of which building they're in. If you fall or need medical attention in an independent living 
community, the staff cannot help you. They can't touch you. If you ring your pendant alert system or use the pull cords in the building, in your shower or living room, it will go directly to 911 and you will need to wait for 911 to arrive and provide assistance. The residents of independent living are more than welcome to hire medical and non-medical home care aides, even though the independent living staff of the building can't provide care those private aides are more than welcome to provide that care if you need it. The benefit of moving into an independent living uh, community that is connected to assisted living is that you can easily be transferred to assisted living and even to the memory care section. Uh, the cynics fear that the facility will push you out of independent living prematurely because it's more lucrative for them to have you in assisted living and also they can make room for more people in independent living. Is that possible? Yes. Does it happen everywhere? Absolutely not. Um, but I do know that many residents in independent living are on their best behavior in front of the staff because of the fear that they will be pushed out to assisted living. If this video was helpful, please like, please subscribe. You're welcome to share the video, leave a comment. Thank you very much for watching and see you next time.